Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is cleaning up hi-hat spill in a snare mic. So this is my drum recording. The problem is that I have a drummer with a heavy right arm, so there is lots of hi-hat spill going down the snare mic. If I solo that up, you can just hear that straight away. And conversely, if I mute the snare mic, you can hear all that hi-hat spill disappear. Now I can use a gate to alleviate some of that hi-hat spill in the snare mic, but the problem is that we get these big bursts of noise every time the gate opens. And I can dial some of the noise floor back in to make it sound a bit less obvious and a bit more natural but then we're getting back to square one now a more natural solution can be to live with the spill and use EQ to get rid of that horrible trashy mid heavy hat spill but the problem with that is that it robs the snare of useful information when it hits If I use a dynamic EQ, I can fix that by giving the energy back where it matters, in this case around about 2k8, back to the snare drum whenever it hits. So in Surfer EQ, I just turn on the gate mode or the GTE mode, and at the moment that is only applying the cut when the snare goes above the threshold. So if I press the button again, it inverts the behaviour and flattens out the EQ curve whenever the snare hits, which is really useful. Using a spectral gate to kill that hi-hat spill gives a much more natural result as opposed to using a conventional gate. We might end up with a little bit more spill, but it sounds better and it doesn't give the game away. To read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.